so good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm going to present uh, my paper entitled Dense 3D Scene Reconstruction from Multiple Spherical Images for Three Degrees of Freedom Plus VR Applications. So this is our, uh, the outline of this presentation. We're gonna skip for brevity. Uh, okay, can I cancel this or? Okay, um, so uh, the motivation of our uh, work is that uh, head-mounted displays are enabling immersive uh, experiences for VR, AR, and MR uh, applications, and most of those uh, applications rely on 360-degree uh, images that can be captured by spherical cameras. Um, however, most of the exciting uh, um, applications that we can build are based on 3D information, and monoscopic cameras cannot uh, um, capture both the texture and the depth information. So, uh, unfortunately, traditional uh, algorithms for extracting 3D information from images cannot be applied to spherical images because of the intrinsic distortions of the camera model. So we're going uh, trying to to solve this problem. Uh, this is, is this is the um, camera mod the camera model how the depth is captured by how the texture is captured by the spherical cameras. It's closely related to the traditional image uh, imaging, um, and we have and the difference we have here is that unlike in the traditional imaging, we have um, spherical uh, coordinates that. Uh, are associated to each point. Uh, the most um, common representation for storing spherical images is the now uh, is the representation known as the equirectangular projection of the sphere, that can be parametrized by two uh, coordinates. So these are some. Uh, related works, and most of them have uh, complex camera setup, or it can deal only with uh, stereoscopic images, or then the works rely on uh, temporal coherence so that we need to input the method with a uh, video. Our approach is different, and uh, is that we need only a reference uh, image and other supporting image that can be placed uh, with some baseline from this. Uh, and, the, and our method outputs a depth, de depth, dense ma depth map, which is dense, that is registered to the reference image that can be used for um, the, the IVR uh, applications and for three degrees of freedom plus VR navigation. So this is our pipeline. We have a reference image, we have other supporting images, and then we compute sparse features, extract the five degrees of freedom poles, and then we derotate the images. Uh, this allows us to apply a dense uh, optical flow algorithm, and then we can compute both the 3D uh, points and the six degrees of freedom poses, which are then uh, Post process and it goes for the applications. So this is um, an example. So we have a reference image on the top and the, another supporting image on the bottom, and we match some sparse points using SFORC. Then we can compute the five degrees of freedom pose, and we can derotate the images uh, so that it, they are aligned to the reference image. Uh, we know that the rotation error is far smaller than the translation error when applied, when the eight-point algorithm is applied, and we use this uh, for a method. Well, uh, well the, um, the rectified images are suitable for dense uh, matching, and we use deep, for, deep, deep flow algorithm for, the, for that. We treat some particularities of the spherical images, such as left and right uh, boundaries that are common, and we do that by using a circular padding. 
Then we measured uh, a photometric consistency so that uh, we compute the forward uh, optical flow and the backward optical flow and compute the cross-checking for that and we see if the matchings are consistent or not, okay? Uh, then we compute also on a geometric uh, distance that is based on the pupillar distance and uh, we combine both the errors, the, the photometric and the geometric errors into a joint confidence measure that is shown here. Uh, so the first image is the geometric error, second image is the photometric error, and the third one is the joint uh, confidence measure. The um, colder colors are smaller values and hotter colors are the higher values. For the confidence measure, we have the hotter, the better, and the opposite for the others. So when we have those maps, we can compute the two view reconstruction for starting our pipeline, and then uh, compute also the six degrees of freedom pose for the other supporting images. The two view um, reconstruction is based on the reference camera plus the uh, non-reference camera that has this smaller, the, the highest confidence. Uh, for selecting the points that we will be used to compute the pose, we uh, rank those matches based on the, our confidence measurement. And uh, we uh, reduce the six degrees of freedom po pose problem to three degrees of freedom pose problem because we already um, computed the rotation parameters in the beginning when we are the rotating the images. Um, then we have uh, the six degrees of freedom pose parameters and we can actually compute the, the depth considering all the cameras. We do it by minimizing a weighted 3D uh, error um, and we claim that good matches are related to high confidence values on our joint confidence, joint, uh, confidence measure. After that, we post-processed our depth map because we, our calibrated algorithm um, neglects uh, special coherence, so we post-processed these methods by tailoring a, a guided filter to the spherical image, to spherical images. So uh, here we see that uh, optimizing the, the direction and the, the, um, the scale of the translation vector is better than optimizing only the scale of the translation vector and also better than uh, re-estimating all the camera parameters. And we have that we can improve these results if we add a nonlinear refinement, but it uh, takes mu much more time. And with respect of, uh, with respect on our 3D error, we can see that our method uh, is much better than competing approaches when we are dealing with uh, matches with high uh, noisy, with much noise. Uh, and as the noise goes down, we, our method uh, is comparable to other approaches. Um, and as we add cameras, our, the, the 3D error uh, decreases as well. Uh, with respect of uh, our complete pipeline, we can see that the unweighted method has this error, this 3D error, and we can uh, decrease the error by uh, putting the weighting, the weightings based on the joint confidence measure and post-processing. Uh, again, we can see that the error decreases as the number of cameras increases. Uh, this is uh, our, uh, some results on the three, de um, three degrees of freedom plus application. So we are just rendering the uh, actual capture. The, sorry, the left image, the right image for the left and right eyes, the depth map, estimated depth map, and the anaglyphs in the bottom, the top bottom, the right bottom. So these are two examples. Um, okay. And then we can conclude that the derotation process um, 
allows to use uh, optical flow algorithms to compute the dense matchings. We can uh, compute a subset of the dense matches that uh, allow us to compute accurate uh, six degrees of freedom probes. Uh, our confidence metric can be used for the weighting, uh, for weighting the, the, um, our calibrate reconstructed algorithm. Uh, also, the image guided filtering does what it should do. And uh, the output of our method can be coupled to the IBR methods for application 3D plus, 3 degrees of freedom plus VR applications. Uh, in the future, we intend to introduce a clustering step so that the matching errors can be smaller and the, then we can somehow uh, combine several point clouds into one uh, point cloud. And we intend to speed up our code for reconstruction dyna dynamic scenes and assess the results using uh, HMD VR user driving uh, metrics. Uh, I would like to thank for those Brazilian uh, agencies for funding our paper. And that's it, the reference, and that's it. <laughs>